Hello there, in this video today I am going to be doing a build showcase, not a complete guide on my current build, which is Cast While Channeling, Rolling Magma, Inquisitor. I'm doing this because in my last stream there was someone who, while I was doing a map, I did not notice the question. They asked me how this build works, so quickly. This is the core item of the build, Sire of Shards. It allows us to do the spin, the uh, five rolling magmas going in every direction. And then I got Cyclone and rolling magma cast while channeling Awakened. You can use the normal one. Awakened just gives you more damage and later makes you stun immune while spinning. Increased critical strike support. Inspiration support, elemental focus support, and then other key items, circle of anguish, you need the fire damage and buff effect. Uh, Calm's heart is an easy, cheap item to get, and that, what I'm currently using, I'll, this is a short disclaimer, I'm not the one who made this build, I didn't theory craft it. I did theorycraft what I'm going to do next with this build, but there was a guy on PoE Ninja doing this build, and I thought it was interesting. Right, uh, next, other items that are core, the Stampede, she runs you about 30 Chaos. It allows you to get a second anoint, and it gives you a decent mana regen. While you're moving and movement speed is uh, 1.5 times its base value. And then the, this is a pretty glass cannon build. None of, I have n pretty much no defensives besides uh, energy shield put in here. So I'm not getting anything from armor currently. And I'll, Put a POB in the description, but this is just a short showcase. And then I've got essentially these three are my resists and the dexterity I need for this build. And then this is pretty much my only defensive layer currently. So, uh, without that, I would have like 900 energy shield, but I have 2,900 with that. And then you have uh, Petrified Blood, Anger, Zeal Tree, and that's supposed to be an Enlighten, but I don't really need Enlighten right now. And then uh, for my Aegrant support, I'm using Herald of Ash and the two Regeneration Auras. And then Mark on Hit with Assassin's Mark, because in the POB, this was before the changes to Mark on Hit uh, rings, which are no longer in the game, so you need this, or you have to self-cast Assassin's Mark. And then, Ball Moment Shell, I've got it, the regular one on my left click, and then the other one here, and Flame Dash. And I've not noticed any problems with, uh, I've noticed that, uh, if I use Ball Molten Shell, the cooldown of regular Molten Shell goes up. At least from what I've noticed while uh, mapping. Then Crown of the Inward Eye. This is enchant, is not something I'm using right now, but it's for my what I'm trans uh, transitioning this uh, build into. So, but usually you'd go like damage or additional chaining for rolling magma. And that's it. Let's just quick do a map to show you what this build looks like. I think it's the main reason I'm playing this build is because it looks pretty cool. Especially with the MTX. The blue is my MTX for the uh, rolling magma, otherwise, it's a uh, bright orange. And then, yeah. So, 
as you can see it the uh rolling magma in the direction i'm going i'm usually keeping pace with it but as i move around the, it goes in all directions and gets stuck on the sides while i'm just cruising along and it's good for kiting because it goes behind which means i can just go like that clear the areas basically one button uh gameplay but I just think it really feels and looks nice to play as someone who likes uh, Cyclone builds in general. Uh, where am I? Over here? Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, it looks pretty nice. I mean, the colors are bright and uh, vibrant. Beast? This far into it? Okay. Do not worry, little beast. We are friends now. Yeah. So that's essentially how it's mapping. Pretty good at clearing the Ads. Off you go, little beast. Away. And boss is. That's essentially what you do for bosses. You just spin around in circles and let your rolling magmas pass through. Okay. And then I'm just going to show you a brief glimpse onto what I'm working on for this build. So, I'm using Skin of the Lords. The, uh, I just got a cheap one that had the right colors, and then I got a Megalomaniac with all pretty okay things for what I needed. What I was going for was I needed Uncompromising, which gives Determination 50% more, uh, incre sorry, increased mana reservation efficiency, and Conservation of Energy. I would have gone for pretty much any spell damage leech as Energy Shield, just to give me Energy Shield leech. And my gloves have uh, fire damage leech from Eater of Worlds uh, implicit as as life. So I got both leeches going. And with this passive Corrupted Soul, it means my uh, damage is split 50-50 between energy shield and life at the same time. It bypasses it, so I have to have both going. And then the final one just gives me crit and crit multi. And this is pretty much the key thing, or is these two, really, but they all come together. Uh, Ashes of the Stars, you want that 20% increased reservation efficiency, which is the max. And then one to level all skill and 27% to quality of all skill. And basically what I'm doing is I'm putting purity of elements, petrified blood, anger, delot tree, and uh, Determination all into there with an Enlightened 4, which becomes Enlightened 6. And then all of those auras get, and Petrified Blood, get 27% quality and plus 1 to their level from this. And all the Reservation Efficiency, and then another plus 2 from this. So, with that... Uh, in the POB that I'm going to link, you're going to see that my effective HP right now is like 11,000. 
and after it would be about 260,000. So yeah, it's going to be pretty insane. Uh, for budget, what I've got going on right now, run you 15, and that's including my uh, Buster Jewels in here. Like 15 to 20 exalted, depending on how the prices are going. So it's definitely not a uh, thing you just go straight into mapping for, because this is required, and that's like two to three exalted. At least it was for the first week. And then this is the most expensive item. This one's pretty cheap. This one's pretty cheap, but, and even with uh, an inch ants, it's Still pretty cheap. This is somewhat expensive. And yeah. And then these all just depend on. Yeah, so it's 15 to 20 exalts. And in the transition, this it I got for like 50 chaos. It's like second weekend, second or third weekend. And then this was one and a half exalts, and this was one exalt. So, yeah, it's... And the uh, main thing that I need for the transition, Enlightened 4 is like 16 exalts right now. And I'm going for that. So that's basically what I'm trying to go for with this build. And if you like this build, you can try it. It's not my build, obviously. But what I'm going for is my own... Uh, design process. Right, thank you for watching this video.